Look, guys, I gave you guys uh, four different techniques as a warm up, right? The knee slide, the long step, the leg weave, and the leg drag. Okay, you guys were dreaming those, looking good. Now, I want you guys to choose three techniques, okay? I gave you guys four, so you're gonna have to use at least three and connect them, okay? Can be any variation that you know, any variation that you like to do, okay? For example, you're gonna go knee slide, so I go knee slide, but he's pushing, okay? If he's pushing, I'm not gonna just keep forcing the technique, okay? It makes more sense to connect to something else, so then I can do a long step. I do a long step, again, he's defending, okay? So then I'm gonna pull his leg down, jump over, and end up in leg drag, okay? I'm using the same techniques, but now instead of drilling each one individually, I'm combining them, okay? So I wanna see you guys creating different sequences, okay? Connecting the techniques, because that's how you guys are, are gonna have to do during the fight, okay? That's the only way it works. You're not gonna go there, choose one technique, and pass the guard, okay? If you're fighting against somebody that's tough, good guard, you're gonna have to connect, okay? Uh, another example, I go, Leg weave first, so I go leg weave. Okay, he's pushing, he's defending. I try to long step. Again, he's defending. I pull the leg and I jump to leg drag. You see? It doesn't matter which one you're gonna choose to start with. I just wanna see you guys not stopping, okay? I don't wanna see you guys getting stuck. I wanna see you guys connecting the techniques. And out, I chose. Uh, there's four techniques because it's super easy to connect them. Okay? Every time you go knee slide, you can connect to long step, leg weave, leg drag. Every time you go leg drag, same thing. You can go <coughs> knee slide, you can go leg weave, you can go long step. So they're really good, okay? So easy to connect them. So I wanna, I wanna see you guys get creative, okay? And create different sequence, different situations, all right? Let's go, one, two. Guys, any questions? Anything you guys want to ask before before I show the technique? No. I want to show something because a, a lot of people were asking me. So I gave you guys four uh, four different techniques, right? Knee slide, long step, leg weave, and leg drag. Okay. And now a lot of people were asking me. Okay. I go here. I go knee slide. He's defending. He's pushing. So then I connect to long step. Then I jump to the other side. I end up in leg drag. He does a hip skate. If he does a hip escape and he drops the knee, okay, every time you have the leg drag, I'm using the sequence now, okay, but what I want to show you guys is from leg drag, if I get the leg drag and he's not defending, he's not doing a hip escape and trying to face me, I'm gonna just finish my leg drag, okay, nice. But if he's fast enough to do a hip escape and face me, this is the opportunity to do long step, okay. So I grab the collar and I'm gonna grab his bottom leg, okay, then I just fast, I just drop my elbow, my knee's already touching, touching the mat, right? So when you do the leg drag, your knee's already there. It does a hip escape, you end up in this position. You just need to grab the collar, and then as you go, don't grab the collar and then stop here and try to grab the pants, okay? You're, you're telling your opponent what you're gonna do. So what I do, I'm already trapping his leg, just using my body, using my upper body and using my knee. I just grab the collar, this hand's still here, okay? I just go for the long step and then grab the pins. Okay, so a lot of people were asking me, and also from uh, leg weave. Okay, so if you go leg weave, say go from knee slide to leg weave. Okay, and the guy is defending and he's pushing. It's the same idea. You go for a long step and then you grab the leg. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna grab the top leg. So as I'm, I grab the collar, as I'm going for a long step, I grab the pants and push, okay? Trying to extend his, his legs, stretching out, okay? So it's harder for him to defend the guard. So you see, the, the long step's really good. Like, every time the guy is defending, you can long step, you change the angle. It's super hard for the person body to stop you. Like, you see how I did, first I did from knee slide, he's defending. Then I go for a long step. You see, I change the angle. He's gonna have a hard time defending the guard. Okay. Then the other one, uh, you have a leg drag. You have a leg drag. 
the guy's defending, you do the same thing. Right? You change the aim, oh. end up on the side. And then the leg weave. You go leg weave, the guy's defending, you grab the collar, and you go. Grab the leg. Okay. Now I want you guys to keep drilling this, okay? Keep creating different sequences, okay? Keep using those four techniques, okay? You can use at least three. If you wanna use four, even better, okay? But now every time you guys pass the guard, I want you guys to attack the arm, okay? You don't get any submission. It needs to be attacking the arm, okay? It can be a Kimura, arm bar, wrist lock, okay? Don't get a choke now, okay? Right now I want you guys to focus on attacking the arm, so. Do everything you guys are doing. You're gonna get to side control. Stabilize the side control, okay? Make sure you have your knees controlling your opponent. You're controlling the head. You're controlling the hips, okay? You can attack a simple arm bar, okay? Bring it in sideways, spin all the way to arm bar. You guys can go side control. You start attacking the arm bar. But then you stop here, step over, bring the elbow up, go Kimura. Then maybe you go Kimura, and then you switch to arm bar. Step over. Okay. So again, like the idea is to, I want you guys to put the pieces together, okay, to create different sequence. Okay. I can be in side control, and make him turn more like to the other side, like turtle, like like if he's trying to turtle away from me. Okay. And then attack this arm here. Oh. That's like over. I have the submission. Okay. I can attack uh, a kill lock. Okay, go here. Attack his arm, and then he's trying to defend the position. I pull his arm across, and then go arm bar. Oh. Okay. So for today, what I want you guys really understand. Okay. is that I want you guys to connect the techniques, okay? We're doing techniques that you guys already know how to do, okay? And I want that, I want you guys to know what to do and just focus on connecting the techniques because you're gonna have to connect the techniques during the fight, okay? That's the only way you're gonna be able to apply what you know, okay? Because knowing all the techniques is not enough. You gotta be able to use them during the fight, okay? And the only way you're gonna be able to use them during the fight is connecting them, okay? Let's go. One, two.